Hello and welcome to this video on prime numbers. Now I'm presuming in this video that you are already familiar with factors and if you're not then I recommend watching the video on that first. Remember factor is a number that goes into something, divides into something. So for example 2 is a factor of 8 because 8 can be divided by 2. So a prime number is just a whole number which has no factors other than 1 and itself. And I've added this clause here which says that 1 itself is not a prime number. And I'm not going to explain why in this video, but it has something to do with the fundamental law of arithmetic. So let's see whether certain numbers are prime. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now let's consider the factors of each. Now the factors of 2 are, well, 1's a factor because 1 goes into 2, and 2 goes into 2 as well, 2 divided by 2. 2 doesn't have any factors other than 1 and itself, so 2 is prime. What about 3? What is its factors? Well, does 1 go into 3? Yes. 1 always goes into every number. Does 2 go into 3? No. Does 3 go into 3? Yes. And again, 3 has no factors other than 1 and itself, so 3 is therefore prime. What about 4? What factors does it have? Well, 1 goes into it. Uh, 2 goes into 4, 4 can be divided by 2, and 4 itself goes into 4. Now this is not prime because it has a factor which is not 1 or itself. What about 5? Its factors are 1 and 5, so that's prime because its only factors are 1 and itself. And what about 6? We've got 1, 2, 3, 6. Well, that has factors other than 1 in itself, it's got 2 and 3, and therefore it's not prime. Now for the remainder of this video, let's just list the prime numbers up to 100. And I highly encourage you to sort of memorise the prime numbers up to 100 because it's very useful information. So we've got the first few. We know that 2, 3 and 5 are prime. We know that no even numbers are going to be prime because they all divide by 2, don't they? 2 is the only exception. 2 is the only even prime number. So let's go for the other odds. Well, 7, what are the factors of 7? Well, it does, doesn't divide by 3, doesn't divide by 5, so 7 is indeed prime. What about 9? Well, 9 is in the 3 times table, so no. What about 11? Yes, 11 is prime. It doesn't have any factors other than 1 in itself. 13 is prime. What about 15? Well, 15 is in the 3 times table. Now, now I might to teach you something called a divisibility rule. And the divisibility rule for 3 is that if the digits add up to a multiple 3, then the number itself is a multiple 3. So for example, 13, if I add 1 and 3, the digits add up to 4. Now, 4 is not in the 3 times table. It's not a multiple 3. So therefore, 13 doesn't divide by 3. But 15, if I write 15, the digits add up to 6. That is a multiple 3. And therefore, 15 itself is in the 3 times table. What about the next odd number? 17, yes, that's prime. Doesn't have any factors. It doesn't divide by 3 because the digits don't add up to multiple 3. It doesn't divide by 5 because it doesn't end with 5 or 0. Right, next one, 19. The digits add up to 10, so it doesn't divide by 3. Doesn't divide by 5, um, and it is indeed prime. 21, well the digits of 21 add up to 3, so 21 divides by 3, so it's not prime. 23 is prime. 25 ends in a 5, so it divides by 5. 27, the digits add up to 9, which is multiple 3, so 27 divides by 3. 29 is prime. 31 is prime. 33, well, it divides by 3 and it divides by 11 as well. 35 ends in a 5, so it's not prime. 37 is prime. 39 is a multiple 3. 41 is prime. 43 is prime. 45 is not prime because if you add up the digits, 4 plus 5 is 9, that is a multiple 3. So 45 is a multiple 3. 47 is prime. Now 49 is a harder one to spot whether it's prime or not, but it's 7 squared, isn't it? 49 is 7 times 7, so it has a factor of 7, 7 and is not prime. Now 51, the digits of 51 add up to 6, that is a multiple 3, so 51 divided by 3, so it's not prime, but 53 is prime. 55 is not prime because it ends with a 5 and therefore divides by 5. 57, the digits add up to 12, which is a multiple 3, so it's not prime. 59 is prime. 61 is prime. 
63 is not prime because it divides by 3. 65 ends with a 5. 67 is prime. 69, the digits add up to 15, which is multiple 3. 71 is prime. 73 is prime. 75 is not prime because it ends with a 5. 77 obviously divides by 7. 79 is prime. 81, the digits add up to 9, which is a multiple 3, so it's not prime. 83 is prime. 85 ends with a 5, so it's not prime. 87, the digits add up to 15, which it's means not. it's not prime. 89 is prime. Now, 91 is a really hard one. So if I write 91, well, the digits add up to 10, which is not a multiple 3. It doesn't divide by 5 because it doesn't end with 5 or 0. But it does, in fact, divide by 7. In fact, 91 is 7 times 13. And 91 is a classic example of a number that people often think is prime, but it's not because it has these kind of higher prime factors. So 91 is not prime. 93, well, 93 is not prime. It divides by 3. 95 is not prime. It ends with 5. 97 is prime, however, and 99 is not prime because it divides by 9 and 11. So this is the list of primes all the way up to 100, and I highly encourage you to just be able to spot these.